a big content complaint I hear from my clients and just from people in the entrepreneurial space is talking about open rates. Nobody's opening my stuff or engaging with my stuff. And today I got an email that kind of hit home why people don't want to engage with certain kinds of t content. I got an email from somebody that I love to read her stuff, but her email was so Full. There were at least five to six calls to actions with buttons and links. There was a lot to think about and consider. And one of the calls to action was think about how you're going to do this differently in the coming week. And then there was an, another call to action that was, hey, reply to me and tell me all about X, Y, and Z. And it was just a lot to take in. We have to remember as content creators that our audiences are overwhelmed as it is. They need bite-sized pieces so that they can digest them. Whether you like that or not, that's the reality of the situation for people today. They're overwhelmed with things to hear, podcasts, audiobooks. They're overwhelmed with things to see, Facebook Lives, YouTube channels, TikToks, and they're overwhelmed with things to read, including their emails, the blogs they love, the books they're reading, the professional development books they're reading, the personal development books they're reading. Your people have a lot on their plate. So please consider whenever you're creating some content to make it digestible. One audience, who are you speaking to? One topic, what are you talking about? One call to action, what do you want them to do? Sometimes I break the rules and I do two calls to action, but honestly, I really try to keep in mind that one person, one message, one call to action. I promise you, when your people can digest your stuff, they're going to be happy to, to open it. And the last thing I wanna say about this one email that I got, it literally could have been five or six emails over the course of the next month and a half. She could have extended her content so much. So just think about how you're saving yourself time and energy and you're saving your audience time and energy when you can really streamline. I hope this is helpful, bye.